Hey y'all, it's Charity. I'm coming today to show you an easy way to find a font. Um, I'm going to be on a site called thefont.com. Um, I'm going to show you why I'm even attempting to um, figure this out. Um, this was basically something a customer sent me that they want on a mask that I make. Um, I have not been sent a file, so I'm going to try to recreate this logo the best way I can. Um, even trying to clean this up or anything, I don't think would be worth it. Be worth the time, especially because there's like lines in it and I just think that would be a waste of time. So, Creating something similar is the route I'm going for. Um, so on the font, um, it's just so it's different categories. I'm narrowing it down to calligraphy, which if we get if you look, this is basically calligraphy. I would classify it as mostly cursive writing or like characterized with hearts and you know little curly cues and such but I'm going to type in cuts and just click enter or submit you can change the size but now that I'm here I'm going to go through and look for something similar do it seems like something super tedious but it usually doesn't take long to find it it's like um i respect the art of graphic designing and taking the time so i really think this is more so a match um, so at this point, you would just go here, click download, get downloads, click the file, install, boom. I've actually already done that. So I'm here to kind of verify this why I actually put the picture in here. Um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm in Photoshop. I'm sorry because I know that gets asked. I'm working in Photoshop. Uh, Black Sword is the font. I'm going to make it pretty big. I'm going to go with one, no, 200. Mm. Yeah, so now it's too big for it. But I'll be able to see. To me, it's really as good as it's going to get. So from here, I'm going to change the color. Well, hold on. Okay, y'all. So, clicked off of it. Because I left the room for a minute. So I click back on it. Now I'm going to change it to white. I'm going to pick red. Um, I could actually click here and get the exact same color. But you see how dull that would be. So I'm just, you know, going to try to really vibrant red because it really resonated as more of a orange and I want it to print as red click OK then at this point I'm going to come here oh again you must kind of solidify your action by clicking the check or pressing enter before you can even get over here um, I click FX, which I think is like 
I don't know. I'm not going to say. Um, anyway, it has like a stroke to me, so I'm going to click stroke. Uh, I'm going to move this to the side so I can see it. But the stroke on that is visible. It's too much. I'm going to go for here. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go there. Let's click OK. Also, back to the same to the same thing. This could be an outer glow. Boom. Uh, I'm not really liking the separation here. So let me try to hopefully I can figure that out. Like, this is where I need to be. Okay. So I don't know. Here, this will get it. So I'm going to change that number, let's see, get it closer, a little bit closer, well, actually just a zero because it's probably what it should be on. So that probably looks a lot better. Go ahead and click your check. That's pretty close. I think we might need some more of that stroke. So go back to that in layers. So we can try to adjust the stroke. I don't know, it really looks like this font that they use may have been bold. And I would probably have this on my old computer. Um, I don't think I can change it to bold, but we'll see. Regular, this would be where you could see. Yeah. That's it. Which that to me, well, let's see if we can. Hold on, y'all. Okay, back here. Let's see, can we? Oh. <laughs> okay. This is literally in real, real time. The first time I've done that. So character. That's what this is. And you can get to it by clicking this little file folder like thing. You see what it says there. But so now, now, let's see, did it say bold it? Okay, now let's readjust this because I want the, the U and the T to connect. Definitely the same font. Um, definitely the same font. So this KJ really looks like a basic um Georgia's or something. So let's um, 
Let me just think about it. Going through the list of K and J's to me wouldn't be worth it either. So basically my point is don't be duped by paying for some fonts on Etsy when you can probably get them for free uh, for of course for personal use and it's going to have a link to I'll try to show you it's going to have a link to how once you click the font itself for personal use only commercial use email okay some other people might have a link where you can pay directly something like that but you basically come in here or um I guess if it would be helpful I can help you figure out how to um, locate various fonts. There are a few different websites, but the font is basically my go-to, my default. Um, of course, use Google. And, you know, that was simple. That was on page two. What I needed was on page two. So you can type in whatever you want to see. Type in my name, see. This is how this is how you basically choose what fonts you like. What fonts you want to see, what fonts you want to download, what fonts you want to purchase commercially. That's definitely how I choose. I like to sample it out in, you know, names that are familiar to me. Things that you might use in like signs. Uh -oh. I don't know why it went backwards. Mm, see, this is ugly in this first font. These first few fonts are ugly. Well, you know, well, to me, to me, I wouldn't use any of them for signs. Hello, cello, or, yeah, that's decent. We're getting somewhere, you know, so you get to see it. You don't want to get a font that looks cute in its name, of course, because they have these, and I'm going to clear it out. They have these nice names, and they look nice, but when you start getting ready to use them, they need to look that cute. Sorry, y'all, if cute is offensive or, I don't know, weird. Oh, also, in news, if you've made it this far in the video, there will be a um, giveaway June 19th. Basically, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Basically, if you've made it this far in the video, say I'm here and you've been entered into the giveaway. It's that simple. If you've made it this far, just say I'm here and you're in the giveaway. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful to someone. Bye.